Hello to all. I am Dr. Alkesh Agarwal, and in this uh, lecture, I'll mainly discuss about the modulation process that is being uh, named as pulse code modulation. So, generally, pulse code modulation consists of uh, three different processes that I'll explain in detail. The first process is sampling. The second process is quantization and the third process is encoding. Here are some reference books that include Communication Systems authored by Simon Haken and uh, Principles of Communication Systems authored by H. Top and D.L. Schilling. So let us have a brief discussion about pulse code modulation. So suppose we have an analog signal so this analog signal can be converted into digital signal through different processes so the first process is sampling process the second process is quantization and the third process is encoding so with the help of these three processes an analog signal can be converted into digital signal so in the subsequent slides we will discuss what 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 is sampling, what is quantization, and what is encoding. So, what is sampling? So, in a very layman language, we can say that sampling is a process in which we convert a time continuous signal into time discrete. That is, sampling, pro if we have a time continuous signal, then with the help of the sampling process, we convert it into time discrete so that the signal value is extracted on certain discrete time instance then quantization now after sampling what we do is quantization so the time discrete signal is made amplitude discrete so in quantization process we fix the amplitude level also whereas in sampling process the we do not have any constraint on amplitude whereas in quantized signal we do have constraint over amplitude 2 and the last process is encoding where the quantized signal is being represented by the bit representation the bit representation is that of quantized levels so for example if we have eight quantized levels so each quantized level will be represented by three bits and then the sample quantized value will be uh, converted into the encoded form with the in the form of bit representation so these are three different processes sampling quantization and encoding if we see certain or if we want to clarify further we can see suppose this is an analog signal and this is the nature of a sample signal you can see here this kind of signal is being uh, defined for every time whereas this kind of signal is defined only for certain time instance so this is sample signal the sample signal further is quantized so you can see the amplitude is also fixed the third process is encoding so now let us see in detail or we try to clarify the process of sampling quantization and coding so suppose we take an analog signal this is an analog signal which uh, transits from plus 4 volt to minus 4 volt uh, you are seeing certain dots so these dots signify the sampled value so the signal is being sampled at certain time instant so practically these uh, the sampling is being done at an Nyquist rate which is 8000 samples per second but here uh, just to have the understanding of sampling we have uh, arbitrary uh, taken certain samples depicted by these uh, dots so the first sample uh, the first sample value is uh, suppose 2.3 volt then we have next sample is at 3.1 volt another sample is at 3.7 volt another sample is at 3.8 volt and so on so this particular diagram shows the process of sampling so 
what we have done we have made this time continuous signal time discrete so now the only the signal value is extracted at certain time instance so if you just uh, imagine that uh, we have only these uh, uh, values defined by these dots so this represents a sampled signal where at the bottom uh, these are the uh, you know sampled values of the continuous signal then we'll define quantization so before defining the quantization process uh, first we have to you know understand certain basic concepts the first is you can see these uh, red dotted lines so the first red dotted line is at minus 4 volt then at minus 3 volt so this is a this uh, first this region is first step size so how we define a step size that is delta so the step size delta is defined as the vh what is vh is plus 4 volt minus vl what is vl here is minus 4 volt so vh minus vl upon number of q levels and if you see this diagram we have uh, certain arbitrary lines depicted by green color so these uh, green color arbitrary lines depict the quantization levels so number of quantization levels are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so how we define this is step size so step size is vh minus vl upon number of q levels so in this example vh is plus 4 volt minus 4 volt is 8 volt upon number of q levels is 8 so 8 by 8 is 1 volt so we have in this example the step size is of 1 volt so that step size is from first step size is minus 4 to minus 3 volt the next step size is from minus 3 to minus 2 volt then minus 2 to minus 1 volt then minus 1 to 0 volt then 0 to plus 1 volt and so on and in between the step size we have the quantization quantized level so this quantized level is at minus 3.5 volt and min at minus 2.5 volt minus 1.5 volt minus 0.5 volt plus 0.5 volt plus 1.5 volt plus 2.5 volt and plus 3.5 volt now let us see how the quantization is being done so you can see this uh, signal and you see this sample so whenever the signal crosses one step size so you can see initially the signal is this in, in the is in this step size from plus 1 volt to plus 2 volt so the signal is quantized at plus 1.5 volt okay now as soon as the signal crosses this uh, step size of 2 volt and it uh, goes into the step size of plus 2 to plus 3 volt the signal is now fixed at another quantization level which is plus 2.5 volt then again when the signal crosses this step size and goes into the another step which varies from plus 3 volt to plus 4 volt then again you can see the quantization level changes from plus 2.5 volt to plus 3.5 volt and this process continues now here you see now as as the signal crosses the step size and enters into the step size from plus 3 volt to plus 2 volt this quantization level is now fixed to plus 2.5 volt then again when the signal again crosses the step the con this quantized level is fixed to 1.5 volt again is it is fixed to plus 0.5 volt then fixed to point minus point 5 volt and so on so you can see this graph which is depicted by this red line is the quantized level so first process was taking out the well signal values a certain instant that is sampling and then the signal is quantized where the signal is value is being fixed at quantized level so now here you can see the actual sample value was 2.3 volt and it is being the quantized value is 2.5 volt because in this region it is being fixed at in this uh, in this step size it is being fixed as 2.5 volt so the quantization level is 2.5 volt again you can see in this region and this is step size it is being fixed to 3.5 volt and so on so the quantized value is different from actual sampled value and the difference between the two is quantization error 
the actual value sample value is 2.3 volt but quantize level is fixed 2.5 volt so there is a difference of 0.2 volt so the difference is called quantization error so this you we have to understand that in quantization process there is some addition of noise that is called or error that is called quantization error now let us come to encoding process now here you can see that each quantization level is being encoded by certain number of bits why we have taken three bits only because number of quantization levels are eight and you know that if there are eight levels so each level will be encoded by three bits so each level the first level is 000, zero. next quantized level is depicted by 0, 0, 001 then 0, 010 0, 0, 011 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. so you can see the first quantization quantized value is 2.5 volt so you can see for 2.5 volt the uh, encoded value is 110 so what we have written is 110 then next quantized value is 3.5 volt so 3.5 volt is depicted by 111 so we have 111 then again 3.5 volt is encoded as 111 again 3.5 volt as 11 and so on so now you can see the encoded output is being written in terms of bits and this is the theoretical representation now each uh, if we convert it into the electrical pulses so we have different formats available uh, it can be encoded into unipolar or bipolar or polar or manchester or differential manchester so that is uh, that discussion is uh, something on a new topic so here we have to see that here first we have sampled values through sampling process then we have quantized values through quantization process and then we have encoded output that is as a result of encoding the signal and finally what is transmitted is the electrical pulses corresponding to these encoded output so this whole process together is known as pulse code modulation process thank you